Earth News, Al Sadiqun Bloc, and the National Wisdom Movement issued, today, Sunday, a position on the request of the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al Sadr, for a public debate. The spokesman for the political bureau of the Sadiqun movement, Mahmoud al Rubay, wrote on Twitter and was followed by Earth News, saying that direct public debates are one of the most visible democratic methods for the public in revealing hidden matters. He added, I support the call for it between a representative of the leadership of the movement and a representative of the leaders of the framework, to put the points on the letters, provided that the fruit of the debate will be recognition of the facts, resort to the constitution and the law, and an end to the crisis. For his part, Bali Abu Kel, a member of the General Authority of the Wisdom Movement, wrote on Twitter, and was followed by Earth News, saying that, although his eminence, Saeed Muqtada al Sadr did not announce any previous negotiations, I support his public invitation to the debate, and I suggest that His Eminence appoint an official representative, maybe his minister, and that the framework delegates a representative for them, so that it will be a debate. For one or more times, similar to the U.S. presidential elections, and it is an important initiative to solve the crisis. The leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, called on all political leaders to a public debate in front of the public in order to solve the problem of the political blockage. The results of the foreign currency sale window Monday August 22, 22 announcement. Number, 4707, sale date, Monday August 22, 2022 The details the amount total sale for the purposes of strengthening balances abroad, Remittances, credits, 230,475,540 total cash sale, 43,300,000 total. Total sales, 273,775,540. Note that the selling price of the amounts transferred to bank accounts abroad is 1460 dinars per dollar. The cash sale price is 1460 dinars per dollar. Intel Guru. Frank 26. Iraq Boots on the Ground TV report. The CBI back on the news, they met with the United States ambassador, discussed money laundering efforts. That's interesting for a program rate? It's pretty obvious why he's discussing this and how Iraq has improved. And this is why the cash and gold reserves are so strong in our country of Iraq. Also they talked about the political Scene that is still in turmoil, August 21, 2022 Intel Guru Mark Z, via PDK. There's a lot of festive folks in the streets according to three of my sources over there this morning. They are expected to have open-air meetings in the streets, they are literally pounding out their differences in front of everybody. They are not behind closed doors in closed sessions. The push continues and they hope to have things sat within the coming days so they can execute their white paper economic reforms. That is the conversation in the Iraqi streets today. This is exciting in my book. Earth News, al Sadiqun Bloc and the National Wisdom Movement issued, today, Sunday, a position on the request of the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al Sadr, for a public debate. The Spokesman for the Political Bureau of the Sadiqon Movement, Mahmoud al Rubay, wrote on Twitter and was followed by Earth News, saying that direct public debates are one of the most visible democratic methods for the public in revealing hidden matters. He added, I support the call for it between a representative of the leadership of the movement and a representative of the leaders of the framework, to put the points on the letters, provided that the fruit of the debate will be recognition of the facts, resort to the constitution and the law, and an end to the crisis. For his part, Bali Abu Kel, a member of the General Authority of the Wisdom Movement, wrote on Twitter, and was followed by Earth News, saying that, although his eminence 
Saeed Muqtada al Sadr did not announce any previous negotiations. I support his public invitation to the debate, and I suggest that His Eminence appoint an official representative, maybe his minister, and that the framework delegates a representative for them, so that it will be a debate. For one or more times, similar to the U.S. presidential elections, and it is an important initiative to solve the crisis. The leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al Sadr, called on all political leaders to a public debate in front of the public in order to solve the problem of the political blockage. The results of the foreign currency sale window Monday, August 22, 22 announcement. Number 4707, sale date, Monday, August 22, 2022. The details the amount total sale for the purposes of strengthening balances abroad, remittances, credits, 230,475,540 total cash sale, 43,300,000 total. Total sales 273,775,540. Note that the selling price of the amounts transferred to bank accounts abroad is 1460 dinars per dollar. The cash sale price is 1460 dinars per dollar. Shafak News While parties in the Shiite coordination framework see that the requirement of the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al Sadr, for a public debate and a direct broadcast of the minutes of the Palace Dialogue meeting is a matter that may complicate the political crisis and plunge it into deeper corridors. Others find that this would be done. But by agreement on some of the paragraphs that ensure the smoothness of the debate without any contradictions. Yesterday, Saturday, the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al Sadr, revealed that he had submitted a proposal to the United Nations to hold a public debate broadcast live between all political parties, again at the same time, his rejection of any secret dialogue with those he described as corrupt, or from, he wants to kill al Sadr, or who is trying to undermine those who belong to the Sadrist movement. Regarding the foregoing, the representative of the al Fateh alliance, which is part of the coordination framework, Mukhtar al Musawi, stipulated that agreeing to hold a television debate or anywhere, by naming the corrupt while providing evidence that proves their involvement in what is attributed to them and whom al Sadr referred to in his last tweet, by saying, these demands may complicate the landscape more than it is now. al Musawi added, during his speech to Shafak News Agency, that there is no solution to what the country is going through, except through dialogue, and that the leader of the al Fateh alliance Hadi al-Amiri is waiting to set a date to meet al Sadr and agree on mechanisms for a comprehensive dialogue to end the crisis. Regarding the place and time of holding a session of parliament, al Musawi indicated that until now, the agreement is to hold a session of parliament in one of the halls of the University of Baghdad in Jadriya, and the time has not yet been determined, due to the situation and political fluctuations, expressing his hope that things will proceed in a manner that serves the country and achieves aspirations of its citizens. For his part, the representative of the State of Law Coalition, Thayer Makifa, affirmed that the current political rivalries are neither enriching nor fattening, and they are nothing but an increase in the complexity of the scene, and an increase in the political blockage. Noting that things are never resolved in this way. Makif said, during his interview with Shafak News Agency, that the Sadrist movement wants to cancel the presence of the framework, and the latter wants to cancel the presence of the movement, and the difference is that the framework did not speak as al Sadr does, as the framework has repeatedly stressed the need for everyone to participate and not to exclude anyone. For his part, an informed source in the state forces alliance, led by Amar al-Hakim, told Shafak News, that, setting requirements by any party, in 
Return for sitting at the dialogue table, is an attempt to deepen the crisis and not solve it. As, the solution lies in everyone gave up for the country. The palace dialogue, or what was known as the national dialogue, a member of the al fateh alliance, Hamid al-Musawi, confirmed today, Saturday, that the United Nations envoy to Iraq, Janine Hennis Plashart, did not inform the political forces of the desire of the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, for a public dialogue, while he saw that the latter began to lower the ceiling of his demands. Earlier today, the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, revealed in a tweet via Twitter, that he had submitted a proposal to the United Nations to hold a public dialogue session with the political parties, but the answer through the mediator was neither rich nor fattening from hunger, while he called for waiting. Next step. Al Musawi said, in an interview with Al Muqtazil program, broadcast by Al Samaria Satellite Channel, that Al Sadr's tweet is a step forward for accepting the poplar, compared to the previous positions of the current that rejected any kind of dialogue, considering Al Sadr's call for public dialogue as a step to lower the ceiling of demands. Dot. He added, Blashart, during her meetings with the leaders of the coordination, did not inform about the existence of a chest's desire for a public dialogue, noting that, if the political forces knew of this desire of al Sadr, the forces would have agreed that the presence of the current in any dialogue is important, and without it it will not be productive. He pointed out that, Al-Amiri made great strides towards making the initiative popular or having popular parties, and he sought to send invitations to federations, unions and whoever wants to be a party to the national dialogue, given that we believe that the people are the source of authority. Al-Musawi stressed, the coordination wants a way out of the political blockage, explaining that the principle of the framework in the dialogue is neither a winner nor a loser, but rather a correction of the path that led the stage to the blockage. Baghdad. The leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, does not stop diversifying forms of pressure on his opponents within the pro-Iranian coordination framework, this time by luring them into an embarrassing public debate under the auspices of the United Nations. Iraqi political circles said that al-Sadr's 